there, crafty friends. So yesterday I came on with these amazing uh, whippersnapper, whippersnapper, yes, whippersnapper stamps that I got off eBay. And I said that I was going to make, I was going to change them up, that I had Halloween in mind and regular birthday. So I've already colored this one, regular birthday, watercolored it. <clears throat> and this one, I'm going to make Halloween. Now, there's an over stamp right there, but I'm not worried about it because it's going to be Halloween. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to put this spider on this balloon. So, mm, I think it'll fit. It might be a little... Well, he's going on there. That's what I say. I think he'll fit. I could have just drawn. Oh, yes, he's perfect. I could have drawn one on there, you know, but he's so fuzzy and and I really like him. So, all right. So now that's step one. All right. So I'm going to, if my pen will work, this is a very, very fine hmm, pen, and I think. It is so fine. Let me try. Let me try one that's a little less fine. All right. So, I just want to make it look like a continuation of his thread, his web. Excuse me. All right. So, like I said, I want to turn him into a vampire. So, I'm just going to do that. Now he's got vampire teeth, right? <laughs> and a, a good vampire needs a good hairline. You know, he has to have that, that, that black hairline. So, I'm just going to go ahead and color that in. Like so, and then also, don't you think a good vampire needs some creepy eyebrows? Well, how creepy can this fella be? I mean, let's get real. So there's his eyebrows. Now he's got to have a cape, right? So, let's see. And then we're going to have his cape flowing back here. Um, there we go. All right. Now. <sighs> let's, let's, uh, let's add some little... shadowing sort of cross hatches here and there. Just, you know, just little lines. Okay. Now then, let me see. If that's all I want to do. You know, I think his ears should be pointed. Oh! <laughs> okay. See how you can just entertain yourself. Or I can anyway. Alright. Now, let's do some watercolor and so, I think the first thing I want to do before I get anything, oh, my pen has cracked and now every time I try to open it, it does that. All right, so we're going to take a white gel pen and go over the lines that were in his teeth. And I'm also going to go over that one. 
and I'll, I'll have to touch these up, but that's okay. All right, that's good. Now then, so the first thing I want to do is make his little nose black. And instead of being a brown beaver, I'm thinking that um, we I should make him um, purple. For how long? Now, I could also make one of these for Christmas. Him. I love him already. All right, so for his belly, I'm gonna go darker. Okay. Now then, let me add just a tinge of shadowing. Right there and right there and on that ear and down here underneath his mouth and his teeth and where he's up against this rock okay that just gives him a little bit of oomph now then let's make his coat red the inside of his vampire jacket. It probably should be black, but you know. He wants a red one. Oops, I had one wrong a little bit there. Oop, got it on a look again. We don't worry about that. What do y'all think so far? He's looking pretty spooky. Spooky fun. Spooky fun. Okay, so now I think his balloon should be orange. And so you can just go over the spider because if I want to come back and darken him up, I can do that. All right, so I'm going to add some yellow up here just to give it a little bit of 
And then, you know, there was a shine, there's a shine square right there, so I will shine square. Y'all know what I mean. A highlight. <laughs> shine square. Isn't that what they call it in the professional world of of painting? It's a shine square. Now, I'm gonna go in and darken the outside just just so his coats has a little bit of little bit more oomph. Now his dirt mound. And I thought it was appropriate that he was coming out of the dirt, too. You know, vampires in the darkness and all that kind of stuff. In their, in their tomb. Y'all know. Alright, so I'm going to get a little bit wetter on this brown. And go in and kind of give it some dirt dimension. You know, because it's a mound of dirt. It's not just flat. Not just a ball of dirt. He's got that dirt stirred up. Alright. Now, I think instead of having these be green, should they be? I guess they can be green. I guess. I'll make it this kind of creepy color green. Like <laughs> baby diaper green. <laughs> I know you all know what I mean. All right, let me go in with just a little darkness around here and there. Like that. All right. And then his hat. I think his hat. Hmm. What color do I want his hat to be? I think I want it to be. Let's see. I think I want it to be purple. And I'm going to cover up those two twigs of hair because you know, all respectable vampires have a uh, have their hair slicked down. That's what I hear anyway. <sighs> okay. Add a little bit of darkness right there so that covers. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Then. I'm going to use that same green that I used for the grass. <laughs> and I think I'm going to make the thing on the top the same color. I was thinking about making it red, but I think I got enough red in there. Okay. What do y'all think? Alright, so now I'm going to dry it a little bit.
Copic. And just dot that on. Make a little dash there. Uh, then let's make his eyeballs big and white. Go back over his teeth one time. Give his nose a little shine. Lighten up these little peaks a little bit. And then I'm gonna color this in. And let's see if I can give him a dot in his eye now. I've gotten my pen wet yet again. That's the only thing. Patience, you know, is a virtue, and I gotta work on mine. Let's see, let's go around this too. Looks like it might need to be a little bit more important than it looks like it is right now. And these. And then. Let's make some of these. So that's hardly noticeable. We'll say it's not. Or we'll just say it's fine. There we go! him I love him so there you have it a happy birthday version and a Halloween version I'm tickled okay well I'll try to I'm gonna come back for the next four days and transform the others and because I'm having fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it gives you some some crafty ideas for transforming some things that you already have and just having a big time all right. Love you guys. Blessings.